Today's a day that ends in Y, so the anti-feminist YouTuber Pearl Davis, aka Just Pearly Things, just dropped a wild take. Here's what she had to say in an interview with the UK-based GB News. Do I want someone with the nuke bomb that could get their period? You know, and then she's in a bad mood. I, I don't want that personally. Yeah, I suppose it'd be. I, I fear the day we have a woman president in the U.S. I fear that day. Why? I, I just, I don't, I don't think women, women aren't meant to lead. We're not meant to lead countries. You know, you're being a bit, um, I mean, if I said that about women having periods and about to press the, the nuclear button, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. But men have bad moods as well, you know. I mean, we've seen some people in the world that are leading countries. Look at Putin. You know, most people think that he's a madman. Would you sooner have him running the country with his finger on a button or a sensible lady? Well, I, I don't, I can't speak to Putin, <laughs> but you know, I, in my experience, women are far less emotionally stable than men. Wow. Just wow. I love how she's shocked even the host, Lee Anderson, who is pretty darn conservative. Anyway, we're gonna break it all down, but first, I'm Brad Palumbo, and welcome back to Mediaite, your home for commentary and coverage on the intersection of media and politics. So firstly, it's honestly very bizarre to see Pearl cite periods as the reason that women shouldn't be leaders. News flash to Pearl, but men have mood swings too. Also, by the time that somebody rises to be the head of state in a country, they're typically at an advanced age. And most women don't get periods after menopause, so this argument seems not just like a stretch, but also pretty irrelevant. And I just totally reject this idea that women aren't meant to be leaders of a country. We've got plenty of examples throughout history, from Margaret Thatcher to Cleopatra of powerful female leaders. And I'm sure we would have many more if so many societies hadn't restricted and blocked women from being in positions of leadership. It just seems really wrong to me to make these sweeping generalizations about the genders either way. But that's kind of Pearl's whole shtick. And it might be true that there's reason to believe that some traits, like aggression for example, are more commonly found in one group on average than in the other, in one gender over the other. But that doesn't tell us anything about any individual any actual man or actual woman who may or may not be aggressive or passive or whatever the trait at hand is. It's just common sense that any candidate for office should be evaluated on an individual level, not dismissed or supported because of their membership in some immutable demographic that doesn't actually tell us anything about them personally. How is this possibly a controversial take? Also, in a longer excerpt from the interview, Pearl goes on to claim that her knowledge about men and women comes from having interviewed more than 1,000 women on her podcast. Yes, seriously. She thinks a wildly unrepresentative sample of a 1,000 women who appeared on her podcast, most of whom are aspiring female influencers, is a scientific data set you can use to draw conclusions. Spoiler alert, it's not. Anybody familiar with basic statistics can tell you that this kind of extrapolation from that kind of a data set is totally meaningless. It suffers from a severe selection bias and too many other statistical flaws to count. So there's really no substance to anything that Pearl is saying in this clip. She's just castigating all women, dunking on her own gender, and then hiding behind the fact that she happens to be female to avoid getting called out for what this is. Blatant sexism and a desperate attempt to pander to men for attention, clicks, and ultimately money. Other than that though, great job, girl. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining me, and please do consider subscribing and sticking around and maybe even turning on those bell notifications. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment with your thoughts, and with that, I'll see you all in the next video.